Welcome students here I am Dr. Ramjad Ali in this video we will learn about uh, auto correlation in cross sectional data dear students as we know that one of the assumption of uh, uh, OLS is that the covariance between the two errors is not as equal to zero two errors are not equal to each other two errors are not correlated with each other or uh, two errors are independent of each other if two errors uh, covariance is not as equal to zero or two errors are correlated with one another or two errors are equal to each other or two errors are not independent of each other this is known as autocorrelation or CJ correlation so dear students uh, here I would like to mention that uh, there are few books which mention that the autocorrelation or CJ correlation is the issue of uh, time series data it is not issue of the cross sectional or somehow some books suggest that uh, it is uh, autocorrelation or serial correlation is also not issue of somehow the panel data as well okay autocorrelation in cross sectional data autocorrelation refers to the degree of correlation between the values of same variable across different observation in the data or you can say that different time period in the data. The concept of autocorrelation is most often discussed in the context of time series data in which observation occurred at a different point in time like we have example here the air temperature measure on different days of the month like for example one might expect the air temperature on the first day of the month to be to be more similar to the temperature on the second day compared to the 31st day. If the temperature value that occur closer together in time are in fact more similar than the temperature value that occurred farther apart in time, the data would be autocorrelated or serially correlated. So normally it is supposed that the autocorrelation is not an issue of the cross section but there are some type of cross sectional data or some type of panel data which have the severe issue of the autocorrelation like autocorrelation could be present in certain types of uh, cross sectional data for example if the cross sectional data comprise the profitability of the bank in different region of the US autocorrelation may arise in a special in a special sense if there is a region dimension to bank profitability that is not captured by the model so the residual from banks of the same region or in neighboring region may be correlated to uh, one another so Enslin mentioned that testing of the autocorrelation in this case would be rather more complex than in time series context and would involve the construction of square symmetric spatial contiguity matrix or a distance matrix so uh, if our cross sectional data have a issue of the autocorrelation then we can move towards some advanced methodology for the uh, mm, for the deduction of the autocorrelation. In coming session, uh, we will discuss about the removal or the dedu deduction of the autocorrelation in the cross section data. So, this is all about the introduction of the autocorrelation in cross sectional data. Okay, thank you. See you with another video. Ciao.